What's up YouTube? Low Tech here. At it again. Another gameplay video. Today we're looking at N64 emulation on MuPen 64 Plus FZ or FZ Plus or however that goes. Um, again, on the Switch, on Android 10. Once again, Android 10 performs fantastic. Very little stutters. Most of the games I threw at it ran with no tweaking to the settings. So that's always a good thing when you can just push go and it works. Who can complain when you have that kind of performance and compatibility? Games performed anywhere from 20 to 60 FPS. I didn't really see anything that was really that low and stayed that low. A couple dips here and there. Overall, games, like I said, ran great. So enjoy the video, enjoy the footage, and I'll hit you back at the end.
Alright everyone, as you just viewed, most of these games ran great. We did have the exception of GoldenEye, which did stutter, which did actually drop into the teens in FPS, but overall, it bounced back and it is playable. Um, one thing I want to point out is in most of these videos I do, I do not tweak the settings to make the games run better. I do, as I've been saying, out-of-the-box performance. That way... Those of us that may or be not familiar with these advanced settings will get a good idea of what the performance is like without tweaking these settings. Yes, there are settings that can make the performance possibly better. I may actually do some tutorials on that, but I just want everybody to see what this device is capable of without doing any tweaking. And the more powerful the device is or the more optimized an emulator is, the less tweaking you have to do. If you have to go in and do a lot of tweaks and hacks to get a game to run, then whatever you're using may or may not be powerful powerful enough to run whatever you're trying to run. So a little bit of a ramble, a little bit of a rant, but just wanted to throw that out there. Stay tuned. More videos coming. As I said in the Dreamcast video, I'm going to be doing Saturn... I'm going to be doing PS1, PSP on this device. I have a lot of other things in the works as far as the Linux on the Switch and then doing some reviews on other things I have. Uh, going back to the Raspberry Pi 4, I know it's been out for a bit, but I love it and I want to put out some videos on it. So I'll be doing that as well. I want to thank each and every one of you that are viewing this. Those of you that have subscribed, I do appreciate it. Uh, as always, have a good day.